Yep. Hey, you two. <laughs> oh, Dandy's all like curled up. Because she's not your coffee. Did you not like it? No. My cat just smelled my coffee. And she went. You want to try it again? Let's see. Let's see if she does it again. Ready? Hey, guys. So this is my cat, Dandelion. No, she doesn't. She didn't do it that time. But that's Dandelion. Dandelion's cute. And there's me with messy hair after a really long day of work. Smoking an Edge Habano. Not literally Habanos, they're Nicaraguan. And I punched it. And this is smoking incredibly well, folks. Great cigar. That's the outside out there. That's my little deck porch. Sorry for the shoddy camera work I'm having. I've been having hand troubles all day. But I uh, got this delicious cigar. Had a really tough day at work. It wasn't so much a tough day as it was just tiring, you know. But, man, I love these edges. Just to show you how much I love them. Here's 19 of them. This would be number 20. But I went to Cigars International, and they have a make and offer site. You go on there, you look at what you might like. They tell you what the retail is. You kind of do a little bit of research, make an offer on the cigars they have and a quantity, and you can get them. And for 20 cigars, I paid 50 bucks, I think, with shipping for 20 cigars. Something like that. So hop on up there and uh, check that out. But great cigar. This cigar is a uh, little bit spicy, full, medium to full body. Nutty, creamy, complex and deep. Has this nice Maduro wrapper on it. You know, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, I think it is. I'm going to tell you what, it's a delicious cigar. Look for the blue label. Wrong finger to have that on. Look for the blue label. <laughs> Good, I just told everybody to screw off. Um, but really nice cigar nonetheless. Absolutely love it. Um, the first third, you're going to get pepper, spice, deliciousness. Middle third, it's going to cream out a little bit, a little bit smoother. And then your final third, you're going to be looking at uh, Powerhouse again. But I'll tell you what, construction, 10 out of 10. Flavor, 9 out of 10. Price, 10 out of 10. Great cigar, great price, delicious smoke. Something you can always look forward to. And this is a nice 5 by 50. Maybe 6 by 50. Right between 5 and 6 by 50. Nice, nice, long, good smoke. The wrapper, not as oily as some of the other um, edge. Habanos that I've had, uh, they vary a little bit. There's a little slight bit of inconsistency with the oiliness of the wrapper, um, but nothing terrible that I would complain about. Cigar stays well lit, smokes brilliantly to the end, consistent and even, and I tell you what, I will never ever ever complain about this cigar. I might complain that some places sell it for too much, but I'll never complain about the cigar. And people knock Rocky Patels. No idea why. Can I have a small dish for ashing, please? I'm going to go get my ashtray. I'll be right back. I'll go get it. Coming back, guys. 
Oh yeah, and I'm wearing pants that say Corona on them. It's fancy. She needs my, uh... I was using my coffee cup as the... You can. Now I'm using the cigars as my co as my uh, phone stand. She's like, I need to pour the coffee in. <laughs> this is a real ramble, guys. I'm sorry. I've had one of those days. Uh, I tell you what. I've been getting a lot of great deals from Cigars International. It's one of the few uh, cigar sites that I do buy from regularly. And uh, they've been, they have been done absolutely nothing but impress me with their shipping services, everything else. So I'm going to continue to recommend them. Pipesandcigars.com as well. Great stuff. Cheap humidor. So, solution. Um, I purchased an electronic humidifier for my new giant thing. I told you about that. Well, I actually called the company because the ribbon cable wasn't long enough. They sent me a six foot long ribbon cable for free. Cheaphumidors.com took really good care of me. Um, and there was actually a misunderstanding between the models. The guy on the phone said, oh yeah, I have the same setup that you do, it'll be just fine. And he thought I was talking about the larger electronic humidifier, not the um, smaller one. So just a miscommunication there, but he's very apologetic, took care of me right away. I'm actually getting the cable on Monday, and that humidor is seasoning brilliantly. In three days, it went from, well, 54% internal humidity to almost 70 consistent. Um, but I have the 84% um, Bovita packs in there uh, to season the humidor with, and they're working brilliantly. Hmm. Really nice cigar. Absolutely delicious cigar. Guys, if you haven't had an Edge Habano, you gotta do it. Even if it's just one to try, do it. You won't be disappointed. The Edge Habano, I would not over humidify though. They tend to sour. I would definitely keep it between 65 and 70% relative humidity. Like, that's the, that's the most. Um, Actually, my apartment right now is at about 68%, so I'm leaving the cigars on the table until the big humidor is seasoned. Um, I don't expect it to go up or down very much, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. Um, but yeah, check them out. Pipesandcigars.com, great, but Cigars International, good prices. Check out the Make Me an Offer page. It's delicious what you can find on there. Uh, but yeah, guys, hey, I'm going to sign out. This is going on 18 minutes and like 20 seconds, so talk to you later. Bye.